Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Kach the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra continues his enlightened message titled The Parable of the Mustard Seed from the general theme Understanding the Parables of Jesus. Yesterday he spoke about the potential of people in the kingdom. Today he speaks about the potential of the seed in the kingdom. Let's join in. Number two, it talks about the potential of things in the kingdom. And then it talks about the seed, that the seed grew. So in the story, the man was able to make a big farm. And in the story, a seed, small seed also grew and became a tree. So I want you to know something. Anything that we are doing, it has the potential to become huge. But you see, you must believe it. If we're in business, don't think about a tabletop business. Jesus said, a business or a seed in the kingdom can become the greatest. If only you can believe it. Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, I'm going to be a millionaire. Have you thought about it before? If you have never thought about it, you can never become. Whatever you have not thought, you cannot become. Because as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you read the book, Gifted Hands, by Carson, in class, he was always last. Then one day, he started believing that, listen, I can learn. I can make it. He said, when he started believing, he started reading. He said, when he started reading, he discovered that, ah, when I read, I understand. From a very poor background, from a very rough neighborhood, he went up, 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 up. He became a neurosurgeon. He was even one of President Trump's secretaries. So don't look at the people selling granite in your area and say, I'm going to be a granite seller. Listen, you can be a neurosurgeon. The second thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about the process. That's what the process. So the first one is the potential. This one is the process. So what do you do to unlock this potential? Number one, you must take the word of God and plant it in your heart. The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed which a man took. And Jesus said, the seed it's the way. You see, to unlock this potential, we must take the seed of God's word in its raw form. That's only raw form. Well, you see, you can take God's word and add something to it, but that's what the devil did. He added something to God's word. So when I say that you can be a millionaire, you can be sitting and say, oh, you see, but if you come from a good background, you can talk like that. You see, you are not taking the word of God in its raw form. God said, I will bless you and you shall become great. He says, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. In his raw form, nothing was added to it. God, the verse didn't say, and when you don't have curses in your family, then this will happen. Then if you are educated, then this will happen. No. In this raw form. Don't take what people are saying. Don't take the bad things you have been through. If you take the bad things you have been through, you can't move forward again. You will be stuck. Because the bitterness and the frustration and the anger alone will let you be rooted to the spot. What this man took was not his background. He took the seed of God's word. That's what we must take and plant it in our heart. I like Psalm 19. It talks about God's word. 
It says in verse 7, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So here the Bible says that one thing that God's word does is that it, it changes your soul, your inner being, your beliefs, your thinking, your emotions, your spirit, the way what you think about yourself, the promises of God, it changes everything inside you. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that in the kingdom, our seed or anything that we are doing has the potential to be great. But to see this come to pass, we must read the word of God and plant it in our hearts. Join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Visa has been granted. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you concerning my UK visa application. I'm excited to inform you that my visa has been granted and I will be starting my master's program in a month. Glory be to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at lacrobadian.org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide.